Y'all still build. What's the deal, man? Y'all, I'm, I'm making my last couple of stops on my errands before I finally touch down at the crib. And I, oh, shit, well, I guess I got to come back out and go get my, you know, my babies, pick my babies up from their aunt who's visiting. So I can chill for a few minutes before I do that. But Pete Gang, man, we got to get into this shit, man. And that is goddamn Subriel Matias, man. Yo. I don't know what's going to happen with this dude at 140 pounds, bro, because what I saw from this man last night, this dude is a fucking Grim Reaper, dog. Like, I they, I was worried about this nigga early on. Like, legitimately worried. Ergachev came out putting them bangs on him, man. The first shot that Ergachev left, uh, landed was this straight left hand to, like, the solar plex. And how he responded, it was like a ragdoll effect. You know what I'm saying? Usually when niggas get hit like that, there's a shot on the chin or somewhere up top. Where you, you know how uh, uh, when Sub-Zero would throw the ice on the ground, Mortal Kombat 3, he throw the ice on the ground and you get to slipping and doing all that extra shit, your arms waving and all that. That's how he was looking. And he got Karin, sent Kareem into the ropes. And the first two rounds, the dude was just like, he couldn't get in the ring. No, it he was working his way in, but he like he was just applying pressure. Like it was a mental thing. He was applying pressure hot behind the high guard. He wasn't stepping in behind the jab. He wasn't looking to counter or anything. He wasn't even looking to get his head off the line. He was just high guard walking this nigga down. And Ergashev is just trying diligently to keep this dude off of him. And now when you in the moment, you like, yo, Ergashev got this dude flustered right now. He's flustered. He can't get in the rhythm. He's disrupting his rhythm. Every time he tries to take a step in, he's getting met. But, you know, he's getting met with heavy leather. And it's just looking like Super Real is looking real pedestrian right now. He's not even trying to throw back. Bro, I didn't really see him throw anything until, like, the third round. The third round come, you start seeing Ergachev's energy begin to dissipate. <laughs> you see this new energy completely start to dissipate. And as his energy is dissipating, Subriel is pouring it on him. Combination punching. And it's like, yo, we was talk I was on Jules, I, you know, the uh, uh, panel last night. Shout out to Ring IQ and the panel. But this dude is better BF like with his power, bro. Where he doesn't have he doesn't sit on the punch. He doesn't completely get leverage under the shot and over over commit to the shot on power shots. It's like hip fire shit. Kind of like it's arm punches, bro. And he's throwing them in a combination, and they're hurting. Bro, this man has a legitimate body on his resume. He's throwing these power shots, just boom, boom. And they're in combination. They look like pity pat punches, bro. They look like pity pat punches, but he's just he's just off in niggas' heads with this shit. And you sitting back and you watching this shit, you like, yo, what in the fuck is this nigga doing? Like, what is this? That dude is a demon, dog. Like, I don't even know what... I, I don't I don't know how else to put it. I don't know how else to put it, bro. I, I, just, I just don't. I don't. He just walked... He walked that dude down. Never... Never wavered. He just... Behind the high guard and just walked through everything that this man was doing. Walked through everything that this man was doing. <clears throat> Didn't look to open up or even counter into the third round, bro. And now after he has you completely bent to his will, now, all right, cool. I'll add more fuel to the fire by getting out of the way of the shots now. You dig? That's some scary shit to deal with. Because now, you're so, you know, you can't even begin to let... What the fuck is that? You can't even... You, you, you can't even have your hopes up of landing something significant. Oh, God damn it. You can't even get your hopes up of landing something significant. After you get, you know, after your gas, because now he's starting to slip and get up under the shots. This is a scary fucking guy, bro. This nigga is scary. Scary. Like, and when you see him, he doesn't look like, he, you know, he doesn't get it off this menacing type, you know, me mug and I ain't like, no, nah, it's just, you know, yeah, what's up, what up, what's happening? Even like when Ergachev was, you know, pushing him and everything, and you know what I'm saying, like holding him at the uh, at the uh, at the weigh-ins and at the face-offs and everything, he just had this regular look on his face, like, 
like a silent assassin. Like he kept doing this. And you get in front of this nigga and it's like nothing you can do to him, man. Jeremiah's Ponce was doing the same shit, letting him go. And he just could not get this dude to be in the proverbial day. He couldn't. And as the rounds progress, he's just adding on more and more and more and more and more and more and more pressure. After you took, after he's taken all the big shots from you. He's completely bent you to his will. I'm going to further emasculate you by not allowing you to lay a glove on me now. Now I'll start moving. My, that is that that shit is wild. That shit is wild. I, this dude might have to fuck around and move up to a 154. I, I think Regis will go holler at him. I think Regis will go holler at him. I, mean, I, don't, I don't see Regis. Regis ain't running for nobody. Um... I, I can't... I, <laughs> I don't think Devin is going to go nowhere near this nigga, bro. I don't think it's not going to be too many niggas who go anywhere near him, bro. It's quiet. I'll do it like that. It's not going to be too many motherfuckers who go anywhere near this nigga, man. This dude is a fucking demon. Grim Reaper status is a stalker, all whatever you want to call him. That's what the fuck he is. That was wild what I watched last night, man. And I just knew, oh, man, yo, this dude is in trouble. He, he's in trouble. Next thing I know, Ergashev is breathing with his mouth open, and Subriel is just pouring it on him. Now he's getting up on his... Man, listen, dog. I don't know who's going to go holler at this dude. Because it, it's going to take a really respectable puncher, and not just res uh, a respectable puncher, but it's through counterpunching and punch placement to waver this dude. Because he he just doesn't fold, he doesn't fold. I, I swear to God, I, like he must be, he has to be sparring like light heavyweights. He has to be, the way he's walking through these dudes' punches. Ergashev, I think would have, you know, he's game for anybody in the division. Like what I saw from him, like you know, he's rangy, he's rangy, he's lengthy. You know, I'm looking at him like, all right, yo, like he's good, fast hands, rangy, hits hard. He the dude has snap. The dude has snap, and it just wasn't enough. It just wasn't enough, man. Listen, Subriel is that nigga, bro. Subriel Matias is that nigga, and I'm I'm real curious to see if anybody's gonna unify with him. Regis, uh, Roley ain't going nowhere near him. O'Hara Davies ain't going nowhere near him. It's up to Regis. It's up to Tail, and I don't even think them dude is gonna do it. Ryan ain't. Oh man, he ain't. Nothing. You can hang that up. I'm outie, man. Deuces.